finally ready to fly. This was the Diatone number 17 build that I did. Fully customized. I changed the board around. Um, if anybody has been following my videos, you'll see how I did the wiring. I have the Mobius camera on the front. I got my little beetle antennas on top. I have my uh, Devo Control Devo 7 in the back. I did the uh, power for the battery here. Um, those are my ESCs. Uh, Simon K's 12 amps. And he's ready to go. Battery straps on right here at the bottom. And I have my little legs. So it's nice. It's beautiful. It's ready to fly. It is actually. 4 a.m. So <laughs> I've been at it since the power came in. And so here's my Mobius camera in the front. Let me remove the cap so you can see it. Come on. There. Over here to the light. There it is. And the Mobius camera is connected automatically already. Feeding the uh, FPV right back there. Very clean, very easy, very nice. Now, let's go ahead and weigh this. Okay, let's fine. turn this thing on. Okay, we're at zero grams. This place is right perfectly there. All right, so far, without the battery, we're looking at 437 grams. And this is the battery I'm going to be using. I got this... Uh, I got three of these and one that's uh, that is a uh, 1500. All right, here we go. Final weight 550, 550 grams. And on the motors, move this battery over Motors on, and I'm going to just slightly crank it up a little bit. Got some power. Man, that thing wants to take off. <laughs> hey, that thing's awesome. I'm barely touching it. Look at this. It's like a, not even 3%. 4%. Oh. That thing wants to take off. I might do a small adjustment because right there. Oh, actually takes it pretty good. <laughs> oh, it's going to be some fun tomorrow. Alright. Alright, I went ahead and I switched out the actual antenna I'm going to be using tomorrow, which is a Cloverleaf. 5.8 gigahertz. And then here is the uh, monitor. Let's see if you can see what it's receiving. Alright, I have two switches on here. First switch is a power on switch. And second switch is a recording switch. That should be recording. Yep, there's recording there. All right. So right now, little little LED, LED is blinking in the back right there. Let me know it's recording. So now I'm recording. While well, it's recording me, I'm recording it. There's my screen right there. I'm actually leave it facing me for a second, so you can see it a little clearer. Ah, uh, and there it is. So actually the quality is <laughs> really, really good from what I see there. Um, I think I'm running on narrow or on wide. I don't remember. I think that might be, uh, that might be wide. I got to double check on that. Um, but the quality is really decent. Looks pretty good. And uh, well, it's recording. So I'll play back the recording tomorrow as I fly as well. So, all right. Cool. And it's just idling, so the uh, loving should be hot. Well, this first ESC here is the one that I'm using to uh, power the whole craft. So, so far, so good. You go ahead and turn off the recording. Good to go. And let me kill the uh, power. All right, there's the power is off for the camera. FPV, no more signal. Shut it down. Beautiful. Attitude, attitude, over here. Attitude. So it should be okay. On a 
blockade. Oh. Let's crank up the motors. First hover test. Mobius camera. Here's the power. Okay. Now I'm going to record. All right, it's recording. So we'll see how much vibration this is getting. Here we go. Uh, take off time. And I'm going to get my timer on. All right, they're good. I don't know what the flight time was with the um, 
with the actual uh, other battery, but I'll check it on there. It could have been a good five minutes. So I think the 1500 is going to be the way to go with this guy. I had everything connected, the FPV running. Um, I was transmitting. I had nothing disconnected. I had the camera running. I was recording. So this is like a full-blown power test, you know, with everything. And I could have flown longer. I mean, the, the battery is still at 11.3. Um, but I got into a conversation and uh, I cut it short, but uh, I'll see the actual flight time before the first beep And I am going to change this one because this one beeps at 10.7 and I want it to beep at 10.5 10.7 is way too much I'm not going to be two three hundred four hundred feet in the air to worry about that needing two three minutes to land I mean once this thing starts beeping I'm coming down. So I only need about a minute warning worst case